The popular comedy drama series, Eight is Enough, which ran for five seasons on ABC between 1977 and 1981, is perhaps best remembered today for its sunny depiction of a large family, the Bradfords. This series follows the trials and tribulations of the Bradford brood, which consists of eight very independent children headed by Father Tom. This comedy follows the kids as they date, grow, marry, and have children themselves. In this video, we will cast five actors from eight is enough who died in real life. Number one, Dick Van Patten. Dick Van Patten was an American actor, comedian, businessman, and animal welfare advocate whose career spanned seven decades of television. He was best known for his role as patriarch Tom Bradford on the ABC television comedy drama Eight is Enough. Patton's character Tom Bradford was named number 33 in TV Guide's list of the 50 greatest dads of all time in 2004. Apart from the series, he appeared in High Anxiety in 1977, Spaceballs in 1987, and Robin Hood, Men in Tights in 1993, among others. Patton in 1989 helped launch a pet food line, Natural Balance Pet Foods, and also founded National Guide Dog Month in 2008 to raise awareness and monetary funds for nonprofit guide dog schools in the US. He died of complications from type 2 diabetes at age 86 in June 2015. Number 2. Adam Rich Adam Rich, who played the youngest of the Bradford family's eight children Nicholas Bradford in the popular comedy drama series Eight is Enough, died on January 7 at his Los Angeles area home at 54. People thought Adam Rich was the cutest thing they'd ever seen at the time, especially with that haircut he sported on Eight is Enough. Born October 12, 1968, He'd only been in an episode of The Six Million Dollar Man and the TV movie The City before being cast as Nicholas. Adam certainly has had a number of issues over the years. He tried smoking marijuana at age 14, dropped out of high school when he was 17. He almost died of a Valium overdose three years later, in 1991 was arrested and charged with attempted burglary of a pharmacy in 2002 he was arrested for DUI, and he's been in drug rehab a number of times. Number 3. Lanny O'Grady Lanny O'Grady was an American actress and talent agent. She is best remembered for her role as Mary Bradford, the eldest sister from Eight is Enough. O'Grady began acting at age 13 with a role in the television series The High Chaparral. In the early 1970s, she appeared on Harry O and had a role in the 1975 television movie Cage Without a Key, starring Susan D. In 1976, O'Grady landed the role of Mary Bradford in the ABC series Eight is Enough and changed her name to O'Grady. She appeared in 112 episodes of the series. She also reprised the role of Mary Bradford in two Eight is Enough reunion television movies in 1987 and 1989. After suffering from agoraphobia and memory blackouts in the early 1990s, Lanny retired from acting and became a talent agent. She also began taking monocotic medication for a diagnosed brain chemical imbalance. In a 1994 interview with the Los Angeles Times, she said she had suffered from panic attacks since the age of 18. She also admitted that she abused prescription drugs and alcohol, including Valium. She died at age 46 on September 25, 2001. Number 4. Diana Highland Diana Highland was an American stage, film, and television actress. Most casual viewers of Eight is Enough remember Betty Buckley sharing the parental duties with Dick Van Patten but another actor briefly played the mother of the Bradford clan, Diana Harland, who began her screen career in the 1950s, played Joan Bradford in four episodes of season one. But her time on the series was cut tragically short 
when she died of breast cancer on March 27, 1977, at age 41. Joan Bradford's death was written into the series, and Tom remained a widower until meeting Abby in season two. Highland was a star on Broadway and in numerous live television broadcasts during the 1950s before settling into regular rotation as a guest star on episodic programs like Alfred Hitchcock Presents, The Twilight Zone, and The Fugitive. She made occasional forays into features, most notably in 1966, The Chase with Marlon Brando and Jane Fonda, but TV remained her most consistent showcase into the 1970s. Number 5. Virginia Vincent Virginia Vincent was an American film, television, and theater actress. Television viewers enjoyed performances by Virginia Vincent for decades prior to her first appearance as Greg Maxwell's wife Daisy in season one of Eight is Enough. Vincent reprised the role in eight additional episodes over the next three seasons. She also appeared in the 1984 TV movie Invitation to Hell. She died of undisclosed causes at the age of 95 on October 3, 2013.